We're here at the Australian Catholic University for the launch of Digital Learning and Teaching Victoria. And I've got some very, very high profile people here at the moment. We have Roland now. Roland, I always have trouble with your last name. Can you pronounce it for us? Gastoza. I think he'll do all the pronouncing of his last name. But Roland, tell us quickly, what's your role with DLTV? I guess um, I'm one of the foot soldiers on the State Council. Um, uh, committee management and what's important is that um, it's I'm a practicing teacher and it's a really authentic voice I kind of know the issues that are happening um, where they fit in the classroom and and trying to make this technology do what we've always been doing which is best practice teaching and learning now you're quite an innovator Roland because I know that is it nearly every Monday night you go live to the whole world I do um, that's our ACCE learning network and Tony was part of the inspiration in helping set that up. Um, we'll introduce Tony in just a minute, Roland. At the moment, it's all about you. Okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, look, it's not by me. Um, the show's success is because I've got a really good co-host, Amanda Reblin. Um, we bring together some exciting people and we just talk about the, the cool things that are happening. Um, I guess it's, it's, it's one thing to kind of read them in a journal, but when you're actually having that dialogue with someone and you can ask them about how does this work, what is it you're doing, um, what difference it's making, um, these are just real grassroots stories and um, I've enjoyed it. It's like a form of um, PD. I think it's a privilege for me to be sitting there sometimes and listening in and being able to share some of those stories with people. And it's a wonderful way to enhance professional development.